hello and welcome. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn a little bit about encryption and we are going to have a look at an algorithm that we will use later on with Python to create a Caesar cipher. This brings about a question of what is a Caesar cipher? Well, over 2000 years ago, when Romans were conquering most of Europe, um, they had to pass a lot of messages in between, you know, generals and commands, and a lot of these messages got intercepted. But when they got intercepted and the enemies got to read them, the messages were just gibberish. And this is because uh, Romans used uh, an encryption technique, which is named after Julius Caesar. I'm not quite sure if Caesar himself invented it, but it's called the Caesar cipher. So, you know, here's an example of what a message um, that has actually very important meaning would have looked like. Total gibberish. So, how does it work? Well, the whole idea is that each letter in a message is actually a shifted letter. Now, you can think of an, al of an alphabet as a sequence, and you can then imagine a particular letter in a normal alphabet being shifted by a certain number. So let's say if that shift is three, the letter B will become, well, so you'll have when a shift is one, B becomes C, two, D, three, E. So with a shift three, B becomes E. And as you can see here, C becomes F, K becomes N, and so on. So back to the you know, gibberish message from the last page, which is written right here. Um, if we just start looking at this normal uh, translation to ciphertext, the ciphertext has this shift of three. So here we go. What does WKH mean? Well, here we have it. W in ciphertext means T, K, 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 K means H, and H means E, the. The first word is the. And if we do this for every single letter in this message, we were going to get something quite meaningful. The advance will begin at 3 p.m. So how do we look at creating an algorithm which can do this for us? Well, first of all, we're going to need to take in and store a message from the user. Then we're going to need to take a desired shift because you don't want to use the same shift. People may figure out that there's a pattern, so you want to change the shift with the message. Then you're going to need to create, and, and this is the key bit, a dictionary which can translate between normal text and ciphertext. In a sense, inside Python, you're going to need to create this table. You're going to need to go uh, and create like, a dictionary. A dictionary has a um, a key and a value. So D corresponds to A, and you're going to have to go all the way A through Z. Once you have that, once you have that dictionary, we're going to use that dictionary to encrypt a message. Convert it letter by letter from normal into ciphertext. And then we have a ciphered message. Now, you know, more... Uh, uh, an algorithm which is more close to code looks a bit like this. So we are going to do this problem in two stages. The first stage is creating that dictionary. And the second stage is using that dictionary to swap letter by letter from normal to ciphertext. And um, the way we're going to create a dictionary is we're simply going to take an alphabet and um, we're going to record a shift from a user and then create a dictionary where you have alphabet letters and their corresponding values. Now, once we have that dictionary, it'll be you know a loop and several if statements. So we're essentially going to read the first letter of the message. Is it in the dictionary? Replace it with the letter. Now, if it's not in the dictionary, we're going to replace um, blank spaces with blank spaces, and we're going to replace other symbols with blank spaces. So we're only concerning ourselves with letters. I think I summarized the problem and the way to solve it. And it's a fairly ambitious project, so let's get onto it.
All right, you got to the end and you may be wondering where can you get the file or a PDF document of the same tutorial. Don't worry, the link is right under the video which will take you to this page. The whole Python fundamentals course, it is free and you enroll, you enter, I don't know, we can, I created a, a Gmail account, aussiejoeblow at gmail.com, got a password and agree to the term, sign up. It could be this easy, I think. And there you are. In pick a tutorial. It'll see the same you'll see the same tutorial as it is on YouTube, and you will have a PDF document that goes with and a downloadable file. So enjoy that and see you later.